Baby! Oh. Oh, Tesh broke the rules. <laughs> you told me to put it in chat. <laughs> I assumed you were modded. <laughs> Maybe we'll solve that problem. So that, that, that is an example of Rofi's size proportions to weapons. <laughs> Roll on. What are you doing? Sitting here at a meeting. You just signed your little contract. You got shown where, as it is on the map. It's quite a ways away. I've made sure to take exact notes of the, the document and how it was written on all the yeah. stuff. And I mean, you are it, aware, as I literally just described, that doesn't a, necessarily completely emblem. apply because of the magical emblem. But you can... But I at least know how the rest of it's done. Yeah, and you might be able to do the magic. So, Ollie, just for clarification, where on the map would... As it uh, it would be far to the southwest. Southwest. Okay, yeah. in that little little nubbin? I'm not looking. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So, while I am signing, though, I do want to look at the gnome, just the smile on face. I'm just going to think on my surface thoughts. thoughts. Um, if you want a spell that will, you know, hide that a little bit better, I can write you a scroll. He, he smiles and thinks back. I make no attempt to hide it. It would be quite unsportingly to do so. I'm just gonna sign. <laughs> he will slide it back, roll it up, put it in a little leather bag. Until this boy leaves the room, by the way, I'm just gonna narrate my surface thoughts. I really like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> He's ungle bits on the wall. We will be outside. If you do have further questions, do come and find me. And then uh, they all start in order to get up. Start heading off. They take the methods with them. I, of course, am flipping them off. Right You're now. waving to the methods. <laughs> Not the gnomes. Uh I'm aware. <laughs> I'm turn to everybody, including Hal, and just say, "Well, that went surprisingly well." Well, well, I mean, it, it's business. You're going to be making them quite a bit of gold if this works. Indeed. Hmm? Most people tend to. Um, well, let me just put it this way: when we met Tien the first individual from the Azure Enclave, instead of wanting to do business, he ran and tried to blow us up. That is what <laughs> we're used to seeing when people do business with us. So, this was a vast improvement. He does that. Yeah, he, he just nods back. Yes, it was. <laughs> right? Now, I believe we had an agreement that I would be able to speak to the lady of the house after that meeting. Yes, uh, if you wouldn't mind waiting until after as it leaves. That is fine. In the meantime, what else is there to do here since you don't want us gambling anymore? Well, you could buy some slaves. Hmm. You are going to be taking on quite a bit of extra work, and it's always useful to have a few extra hands around the house. Mm -hmm. We have enough hands with that. Wrong. <laughs> Sorry, handy. Handy is the word I was looking for, not handsy. <laughs> uh, silly me. We have quite a fine array of fashion establishments if you're looking to get new clothing uh, tailored. Do you have magical equipment salespeople? We don't have houses specially selling magical equipment, but magical equipment is sold. Do you know of anybody selling a very particular type of dagger? I'm going to pull out my parrying dagger, but a magical version. I think you might have to commission something so particular. You could get that done here. There is a uh, an enchanter set up on the second floor. How long do they usually take? Usually around seven days. 
that's too long. Mm. But fair enough, that makes sense. It's, I'm not, it's, sorry, it's not a matter of the quality. It's more just that I don't know that we're going to, given that we have to go back to Narashiro for the business, and, you know, it's going to be uh, too much running around, I think. Should probably commission it in Narashiro. I'm sure they won't be very long. And I will tell you, as soon as they are within a reasonable distance away, when you can meet the mistress of the Enclave. So, I take it that they have probably tried to assassinate her several times? No! They have not been here for quite a few generations. But it is a very sensible policy, because if you wanted to send discourse throughout an Enclave, you would murder their matriarch. And yes. we do worship quite opposite concepts. Yes. Uh, now, you obviously took extreme care, of course, uh, to not let anyone linger or escape from their enclave into the area. And, you know, of course, you are keeping a very close eye on every action taken by them and making sure that. Not me no personally! Not you personally, of course. You're I'm right here with here. you. Of course. <laughs> uh, but you are watching for assassins, aren't you? Absolutely. And what about shape-shifting succubi? We are paying attention to such forces we thought quite unimaginable to be against us before. Well, have I got a surprise for you? <laughs> They are very possible and very much I, going I, to show. I am aware, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to the bank. <laughs> Just walk out of the room and go to the bank. Fair. Swoosh bank. Oh. We need to discuss how easy it was for somebody to steal our identity. Yep. <laughs> because they probably just looked like me and that was enough. And that's not okay. <laughs> going into the bank, uh, going ah, to approach- hello. That's right there. Hello, but that's the issue. You let someone who looked like me take out all our money. Mm. I let someone who looked exactly like you and answered the security correct uh, uh, questions correctly. Now, if, your identity was stolen to such a degree. It is not on the behalf of the banking guild to not allow that what? to be taken. I'm going to cast the tech thoughts. I'm going to read this teller's thoughts and get his worst memory. His okay. most shameful secret. <laughs> He's going to roll a five. <laughs> uh, what would be this banker's worst Memory. Well, all that fraud he did years ago, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not that much of a bad one. That would make it too easy. <laughs> the, the question when you go worst memory is always, how dark do I go? <laughs> In this very jokey campaign. Uh, just how, how dark is it? Um... Yeah, she has a, a, a fairly dead sister who died of a overdose of a substance. Fairly? Yeah. Fairly dead. Fairly dead. Yeah. As in, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> no, de dead. She, the sister okay. is dead. Okay. Thanks. It's because I was debating how dead and what the dead would be, right? <laughs> so that's how you get to fairly dead. Okay, all right. <laughs> I also want to try to get, like, a random passcode from her. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, <laughs> you would get, because you're talking to him, she's talking to him, you would get, like, the passcodes and, and like, the safes to your paperwork. That would just be yeah. given to you, but it's just, you know, a safe code. It's just more that she knows I pulled all those things to the surface. Yes. She, like, shivers... And, uh, can you all give me perception checks? Ooh. <laughs> so why is she ashamed about her sister being dead? Is it just because of his drugs? Mm, it, it, 
they were using it together, mm. and it's uh... all part of this society. She's not quite ashamed of it, but it's definitely her worst memory, and mm -hmm. she has a lot of guilt over it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch. Her eyes are very wide, staring at the three of you. Like, I, 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 I understand that you are quite uh, upset about your deal, but I, I think it is, is is time for you to leave if you want quite quite personal relations with the Enclave here. Please, Manager is not here. Bullshit. She looks behind her. This is like a three-foot cube room that looks like it doesn't have any way in. Mm -hmm. It is quite quite time for you to leave. Ragath doesn't move. He stands there and just stares very slowly, raising one eyebrow, very specific eyebrow. He's not doing anything yet, but he's contemplating. You can give me the intimidate check. You can roll a twenty with that one, Will. All right, I have twenty. <laughs> I, I I don't know what it is you want from me. There is nothing I can give you that hasn't already been given. You have your currency. I was informed that we went to the correct place in the end. Yes. I'm gonna lift up the bag of gold that I have. Are you asking for societal, societal changes in a guild of banking that one tiny little individual cannot impossibly affect? That's I impossible! Am asking you, first of all, to change my damn security questions. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so stubborn about this? Because when you entered the room, your witch stole my memories! That's not very nice. I'm she sorry! Stole all your memories. You just called the lady of a house of Nerashiro a witch! It is a technical term! No, it <laughs> isn't! I At can this go point, much higher than this! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, <laughs> the doors open <laughs> to uh, several of the guards here. Of course, who never look like guards, but you actually see them with their rapiers out! And there's more guards out today because it's a gnomish enclave, so there's like four kind of pushed into the doorway. How can I and please change my security questions? If everyone agrees not to, to, to dabble in magic in the bank. Why do you not have people sensing for magic in the bank? That's how we they got my stuff. Do. Why also, did that not get caught? Because we didn't suspect anything. up in the same place anyway, and therefore they're not stolen, right? If any wait, if anyone is moving that large a sum of money, surely you want to do some sort of magic check on them. You that just, is common sense. You just won the money, and that's what people do here. When they win the money, they take it all, and it was you. Still do magic check. You can still check. It's common sense. I'm gonna <laughs> look at the guards. Like, do you see this? Yeah, but, but, but the guards haven't attacked any of you yes, because like they're, just, they're like, it, first of all, it's you guys. Second of all, it's just this yelling. Is, by the way, is Nit one of the guards there? Yeah, the he would be. Yeah. I'm just gonna wave at Nit and say, Oh, hello, Nit! It's nice to see you again. You imagine <laughs> what he said in Gnomish to the others is like, These guys, again. <laughs> it's like everything that's happened in the last weeks is about these guys. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I'm going to say, Are you able to detect magic, Nit? If the wills of magic deem it so, there are magical sensing devices in this very bank. Of course, but are you able to? If the wills of magic deem it so... And please do so, and see my magical signature, so that this never happens again! I would find it quite unlikely that you would have a magical signature. That's I... not exactly how this works. Try me. He will... Like, he'll put the sword away, and that makes the others put the sword away. And we'll uh, cast out the spell. And and we'll say that there's actually quite specific magic about them. I don't think that magical at all. Never let this happen again. If I come here and this is not the magical signature you see, do not let me take money out of the bank. Please. That's... Of course, yes. This is my security question. 
he uh, nods. You kind of see, like, on in the corners of the room on the roof, I kind of statues that look like little owls. But you kind of see one of some of the eyes flashing with clearly, like, a detect magic, like, scan. So this is actually, like, being taken. And uh, Why don't we... you do that more often? <laughs> because and magic to... has a cost when it is in a material form. And I'm going to turn to the teller, and I'm going to put the bag of gold down on the table, and I'm going to very slowly count out one gold piece at a time until... <laughs> We are at uh, 5,000 gold pieces. No, sorry, 4,991 gold pieces that I would like to have sent to our account in Narashira. That will be done. Good. So I will still have 5,000 gold on my person, um, which I will uh, then tuck away. And I will bow deeply to her. And I will say, thank you very much for your time. And if we do ever get into a shouting match again, can we please not escalate our voices like that? Because that is very difficult. I'm sorry, for me to it's be... just what happens. This is, this is my first language. Gnomish is very high pitched. Why do you do that? It's just like <laughs> you keep going higher and I can't help it. And I don't like it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's funny because I watched the producers yesterday, which literally has this line. It's like, <laughs> I have to go before my voice gets any higher. <laughs> Just global memes at this point. You can leave, and the and the guards, you know, they're just like these guys. They're just they're not doing anything. They're just causing a commotion. I mean, ten thousand gold is worth making a commotion about. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they understand. You can get arrested and killed for a commotion. You are not yes. arrested or killed. Yeah. Well, to be fair, yeah. if they tried, it would be a very big problem for them given that we just made business with the Azad Enclave, then that would look very suspicious. So we're fairly protected are, as long uh, as... Yes. <laughs> you could follow the logic of the <laughs> what's happening exactly here. I know exactly what's happening here. I know exactly why we aren't attacked. I'm so not... with your money put away and your fraud protection in place, <laughs> what next? What do you want to do? Just chill. Just waiting. I I'm gonna just... go see if I can borrow equipment from the magical enchanter area. There. Yeah, I mean, you could go up to the enchanter. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, whereas a lot of uh, what you usually hang out with are clearly people who are either part of the enclave or very aligned to it, this is the areas of uh, shop fronts, those open shop fronts, where they're just, you know, people have set up here and they make money and that totally makes sense, right? Um, you would go up here, the... Do, 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 do. Just checking something real quick. I have this written down. Because I do, and I'm sensible. Um, the Enchanter is currently... There's a lot of fire in this establishment. Which kind of, like, you're walking by and there's, like, these sconces of glowing pink fire and you're like, ooh! You've probably done that before while you're here. Um, and it almost looks like a like a fortune telling place aside from what is currently on the table is like a dagger. And uh, the person there is is uh, weaving some magic into it. And they're a, uh, an elf. Um, their garb is not quite that of Narashiro fashion, but not so much that they don't, you know, you don't recognize them or anything. Uh, they will kind of give you a, a slight nod as you enter and uh, motion towards. And there's some books on sales and things, and we'll ask, What is it that you're interested in? The fires did not tell me you would be coming today. Hello, my name is Yuna. I actually, um,. Well, we're going to be in town for, for a short amount of time, but I've been working on some projects, and I was wondering if I could use some of your equipment here. I'd be happy to pay you for it. I think that would be quite agreeable. Yes. It ended up being, like, two silver a day to come here and use mm -hmm. some of the oh, equipment. Oh, nice. Yeah. Like, and, like, that's not, that's not much mm -hmm. at all for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> they would ask, you know... 
What is it that you're working on? You're an enchanter yourself. Oh, yes, and I'll bring up my jar of souls. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that would explain what I felt in the warmth of the flame, yes. Yeah, um, now I'm working on a special project, and Rofi, actually, I was hoping you would help me with this. Wow. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I... I would... Uh, what? <laughs> He's getting I'm a burrito. To... Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I've been meaning to practice my smithing. Anyway, I'm getting out of touch. I need to do more. Good. So I'll take out the, um, the succubus of soul, and I'll kind of explain my idea for, like, a dagger. To be craft out of it. Four back out. So, that's to fit his hands. Hmm. Yeah, they're so big and different. I have an idea. <laughs> different. Each hand is a slightly different yeah, size. I, I, I have an idea for that. Uh, hmm. Are his wrists about the same size? <laughs> no. I, I, in my mind, and I need to draw Raka, one arm is bigger than the other. He's one is extremely narrow, and the other yeah. one is like adjustable. I have ideas. <laughs> Excellent. And so we're gonna work on that, I guess. Yeah, downtime. the the enchanter will show you like all the equipment and kind of oversee things. And absolutely, um, mm -hmm. as it leaves, pretty much as quickly and nonchalantly as they entered, um, a little bit after, uh, Hal would find Rakath and imagine you guys don't even need to be here for this. We'll say if you are interested in meeting the matriarch still, which I assume you are. Um, then now would be the time, if you would be open for it. Excellent. Yes, I would. Thank you. Uh, he will lead you up uh, into the part of the Enclave, which by now you've figured out is where most of the actual Enclave citizens live. A uh, very high floor, quite similar to where your room is, just on the other side of the ring. Um, the door itself seems quite uh, magical. There uh, is a guard outside the, the door who is currently like playing solitaire. Um, Good. And uh, you would enter. Uh, it, it's it's very similar to your room in layout. Aside from there's no instead of there being four bedrooms, it's like a large bedroom and like a large just sort of bathing chamber. I would suppose. The room is even more decorated than yours. There's little gemstone slivers in between the stone mosaic on the ground, things like that. The window looking out is not actually looking out into the real outside. There's an illusion to make all the colors, like it's almost like a Van Gogh painting and it kind of swirls, it's very pretty. Um, everything's very, very decorated. And uh, Shilago Khan will uh, stand up from sitting at a very comfortable chair with her big diamond walking stick and with the other hands, and I was like, Yes, Rakath of Deveskos. I, I must say I'm curious why you're, you're um, seeking another meeting, but you were so polite last time I found it inappropriate to... Uh, deny. Please sit, enjoy yourself uh, a cup of wine, and she sits back down quite heavily oh, because thanks. she's old. Even for a gnome, she's old. Uh, How stays in the room, but just like by the door. Um, well, it is very nice to see you again, and I appreciate you taking the time to see me. I know that, uh, we unfortunately brought in some people, which meant that you had to have a little bit more of a security lineup. Oh, uh, but it was in the interest of business and making peace, which is quite sensible because the best pi Well, it depends on what business you are making, but if you are in the business of making people happy, the best money is made in peacetime. Absolutely. Now, if you were in the interest of war, you would want to uh, push more war. No, you see, I don't want war at all, and I fear that war is brewing. Oh, war is current. <laughs> Not here. Paradise no. remains perfectly... Uh, I would say perfectly safe, but I seem that you, you, you've had quite some dangers. Yes, indeed. And I would like to discuss that with you in a moment as well, but... 
first. The more important thing is that I do believe that war is coming to more areas than it once was. Yes, war is current in some places, and war is prominent in others. The war with the surface has been on for three years, but what has there been done? Oh, little raids and such, but it's been a, a, a war of words, a war of, 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 of making policies, but I, I agree, I fear that this true war is, is beginning. I have seen it. And with your peoples and the interests that you hold in joy and in happiness and in pleasure for those who live and abide within paradise, I assume that you wish for peacetime, much like you just said. If paradise was to refortify, it would be a disservice to everyone within it. Course. would be something we would do and we have done it before but it would be unideal yes and we would like to keep that away from you as much as possible paradise though it is not my home has been very kind at least apart from the two incidents which again I will speak about in a moment apart from those two incidents it has been very kind to me and I would like to see it continue to be kind to me, as I would like to be kind to it and its denizens. Now, speaking of the marble in the room, as it were, a succubus fooled your clerics, pretended to be a god, an avatar of your god, snuck through and turned me into a marble, I assumed my identity, broke into the bank, took all of the money that we had won, kidnapped Rofi, all without raising a single alarm. Would that... you listen to the wisdom of an old woman for a moment? I will listen, if you will do the same for me. But please, go ahead. She uh, picks up a, a goblet of wine. Goblet appears to be made of solid gold. Um, uh, and, and takes a sip and says, A fiendish entity was summoned here falsely. That means that fiend this would not have happened a year ago. This would not have happened a hundred years ago. I fear what the implications of this are is far greater than you or me. That fiend was summoned from the side of the fiends. Now, if that was summoned by the god of drow or by... Even if it was summoned by our god. That is a danger to material world as it exists. That is not something that should be able to be done. That is not the natural way, which I'm sure you understand means fiends are growing in power. If that can be done. It might just be one situation, and that's why you understand. On paper, it might seem like something that we should assume for. But it has never been done before. But I do fear it might be done since. Precisely my point. I hope that though refortification would be a detriment to your denizens. Magical refortification may not be. The bank I have sorted out, at least for my account. They will magically detect me. I have a very particular magical signature. No one who assumes my identity will be able to take out our funds again. Unless they are able to mimic it perfectly, which is very difficult to do. Now, my concern, first of all, is that once it happened, your clerics were very 
ready to accept that their god had come. Now, I understand. That was a very loud noise. It I understand. I assume that's one. Someone must have won a lot of money and purchased some crazy contraption. Um, just a kid in a going. motorbike just doing fucking donuts, donuts. outside. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> regardless, uh, I understand the devout, but a healthy dose of skepticism is required in these times. You would understand I... that our people are quite skeptic, but this. Was the one first angel they had seen. One stands out among the rest as a skeptic. Your man, How, is the only one who made an effort to come and find out what was happening. To work hard to make sure that we were safe. She looks directly at him. <laughs> what position does he have now? Yeah. Overseas the casino, one of several. What position is above his right now? Well... I suppose in your terms you might think of it as a high priest. One who leads the spiritual side of the community. We have uh, those who lead in knowledge, those who lead in military. In these trying times, where fiends may be summoned from their own realm, someone who speaks with skepticism and insight may be needed in your ranks at the highest levels. I would recommend how for a promotion, despite what has been done upon me, under the watch of your guard, I still see value in them. And I see how, as a denizen of that, and as someone who portrays the values that you so hold dear, I would feel safer here if he had more power. Now, I know he doesn't want it. Look at him squirming back there. He's, he's squirming. He's trying to make it look like he's not squirming. I don't even have to look, I just know. I that. know, yeah, that's <laughs> the perfect thing about it. Yeah. But, he is well suited to it. And I would also ask, given the circumstances, that we be allowed to use your facilities here free of charge when we come to visit in the future, so that we might be able to do business and bring business to paradise, oh. given the circumstances. Oh, you you battered me up before you uh, lay something so sharp. I am willing to agree to this term on conditions. The deal may change. Goddess forbid I pass and whoever below me uh, decides differently, but... I think that would be most appropriate, considering everything that has happened. You continue using this chamber, and while it remains free. I appreciate and, uh, that. Now how? You will have to bolster your arcane studies. You are to uh, be quite appropriate uh, as a spiritual leader, and it's just like he's like. It, Yes, Matriarch, yes, uh, uh, that, that, that makes sense. Uh. One thing I would also add. We would like to be able to gamble while we're here. There's very little else to do that we enjoy. Now, of course, we understand that we are quite good at it. Because not every game is a game of chance, and that many of them are games of skill. We, of course, will limit our gambling, but we would request that we are able to do so. Gamble responsibly, and it will be allowed. Of if course. If because you are not the only people enjoying the casino. If others degree that you are ruining the fun, 
and they believe you to be cheating, then we will politely ask you to uh, pause of for the time. And that, I think, is perfectly acceptable. Are we agreed? I think we are. She clink the goblets. Excellent. Would you like something a little stronger? Yes, yes. I'm going to take out the pyromancer's delight. Yeah! <laughs> this may kill her. Um, no, <laughs> she's little a... fast. Yeah. <laughs> will burst a flame <laughs> and so will my goblet. And I will clink again and... <laughs> She will not down it, but she'll sip it and it'll be like, Whoa! Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, something I... new is always to be a Keeps you young. Absolutely. Strips the hair from the chest. And I'm going to take one of the two bottles that I have, and I'm act it's the unopened one, too, and I'm going to give her the unopened bottle wow. as a sign of agreement between us. Um... A one bottle of Pyromancer's Delight for the <laughs> Lady of House. She will... <laughs> what? One mo If we're giving gifts, one moment. And she'll get up Ooh. and shuffle her way to a stand of drawers a bit too far away. It's a little uncomfortable. Shuffle back. Yes. And we'll hand you a signet ring uh, for the, uh, Gokhan Enclave, which is pretty much their holy symbol. You know, that kind of swirling, almost snake-like, uh, symbol. It is for a gnome. It won't fit you. I'm gonna put it on one of my lumps. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it's a little tight. <laughs> Admittedly. It's like, squeezes a little up. Pus, yeah. A little pus squeezes out of the lump. Yeah. <laughs> But yep. that will be the gift uh, shared. And, um... Cool. Deal's made. made. Excellent. And I will bow deeply, and I will, uh... Take Howe's hand, as well as, uh, the matriarch. And, uh, then depart. And okay. go back to grabbing a burrito before meeting up with Yuna. And so... You don't have any real reason to stay in a city anymore. If you would want to go back, uh, that's... What is it you want to do? In the, in your little uh, game plan, you said you're going to go back, then go to Azit. Um, is that on, still on the, the plan? Yeah. 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 yeah, let's go back to Narashiro. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Back up our crafting. Yeah, exactly. Turn on the beetle. <laughs> get back on the beetle, get back on the road. Get back home. You know, it's a little early, but I think this is a great place to take a little breaky brew. So I can enjoy some Pyromancer's Delight. 